Hey guys, so I have been asked a few times to do a video on me painting. I'm just having an art day today and I want to record myself in the zone, give you some tips on how to maybe paint on your own clothing and just show you how I go about painting on clothing in general, how I come up with ideas. So if you don't already know, I've got a clothing line called Poker London. I hand paint on vintage clothing and also just wholesale denim leather jackets and jersey t-shirts, phone cases, whatever I can get my hands on. So today, obviously it's quarantine still, I am focusing on these balaclavas. I have been selling these and they literally went out of stock in the first couple of days. I only put about five up just to kind of see how they went and they went just think they're super cool you can wear your eyelashes you can take pictures in them or wear them out it's completely up to you so i'm going to show you guys how i spray paint on them because spray paint is super quick unpredictable it's kind of scary spraying onto fabric without knowing how it's going to turn out but i kind of love that that's my artwork in general i just love the the spontaneity of art and a lot of my art comes from imagination so it's more about just what's going on inside my head basically so i'm painting on the floor because that's how i've always painted since i was little so i'm just doing what i would normally do i've laid out the pieces that i'm going to start with got my inspiration up. I'm going to talk while I'm painting as well, briefly, and I'm also going to be watching, what, what program is this? Too Hot to Handle. If you've seen it, then you know it's just some crazy ass shit. So for this technique, spray painting on cotton balaclavas, all I need is protective clothing, an old blanket or a sheet that you don't care to ruin so the concept i'm going for is like feminism female empowerment i really want to create that like lady gangster vibe so you also need a mask as well nearly forgot this is actually guess i'm kind of rocking guess right now it's not the best mask but it's gonna help a little bit because obviously there's a lot of toxic fumes that you do not want to be inhaling so yeah, I'm just going to write girl guy. And sometimes the spray paint doesn't come out if you're doing it downwards. So I'm probably going to have to hold it up at some point. But for now, I'm just going to do it at this angle. And I'm doing like graffiti writing. But you have to be super confident and fearless when you're painting. If you think about it too much, you're just going to mess it up. Oh, my lip gloss is getting stuck. It doesn't matter as well if it gets in the actual inside because once it's on you're not going to see that anyway simple as that pink or red yeah i want to do this one in pink i'm gonna write bad bitch <laughs> so because of the mouth hole it's a little bit awkward i'm gonna make it work i think it looks cool when that's on it's gonna look super dope so that's two down, four more to go. Boss babe. Boss babe. I'm gonna do like crying face. Like that. Cute. Super, super easy. I just really enjoy doing it. I'm going to write support women or support girls. Okay, support women. I really like this one. It's my favourite, I think. And what's good about these is where you can just hand wash them because I know me, I get a lot of makeup on the eye socket and the mouth hole. Uh, so you just like literally put them in a sink, put a bit of soap on them and the spray paint will stay on, which is all good. Femme power. I kind of like the pink and the blue. I was kind of scared to do that. I thought it was going to look crazy. And I might do like pink on this just for the tears. Yes, gangster. I'm going to quickly do the back. So 
that's done. Super quick. baby so i'm gonna get some inspiration up i tend to go on like pinterest or instagram i always save things i'm inspired by this nighty i don't know who the designer is i kind of come up with loads of ideas and just put them all together for this i just want it to be super delicate yeah so my inspiration today is female empowerment it wasn't the plan just last night i was painting and i was painting these beautiful women and I was doing collages of my old pieces and I really want to keep to this theme of female empowerment so these are all my fabric pens and like little paint things but they come out like super thin so I do put them with my fabric pens so I want to go for like baby pink lilac yellow. so I'm just kind of I'm totally going with the flow I mean I thought about planning it but me planning it in this video it wouldn't be it wouldn't be authentic because I never plan my pieces unless they're customs so I'm not gonna do it today either I'm gonna just paint as I would normally paint it's really beautiful outside so I'm just good I'm not out right now but I'm gonna paint for the next hour and I just kind of go into my own world and just start drawing something turns into something else and it's all super unexpected and spontaneous and that's just how i love to draw i think it was just one of them things when i was younger i just loved painting because it took me into this other world it's like when kids read and when they read it almost takes them away from their normal life i never showed my artwork so it's only since i've got older like in my 20s I actually started showing people and putting it out there and I think it's super important to do it in your own time a lot of my artwork is kind of like people that take DMT and the women that they see in their DMT trips I love and I'm super intrigued in the documentaries about hallucinogenics and and what they do to the human brain and I mean, some, some say it's not the human brain, some say it's just them finally seeing what's always there, like different dimensions and realms and people see goddesses and people that are energy. I haven't done DMT personally and I also wouldn't recommend it for the faint hearted, but basically what I'm trying to say is I kind of draw these like women that are like creatures, alien like, that just celebrate and exude gorgeous femininity and female empowerment. Uh, I think I'm going to do like spray paint. So I'm going to do like spray paint similar to the balaclavas where it's going to be like graffiti type writing or font and then I'm just going to incorporate it into the drawing. So far I've just done the floating goddesses I chose yellow, purple and orange. I feel like it connotes energy and fire and me, Aries energy. So now that's done, I'm gonna actually spray paint. I'm gonna button this up because I want the quote to fall over the whole front of the play suit. Yeah, just like experimenting with different styles and different techniques just to create, you know, feeling and just to do something different as well. Like I could just do like nice script writing and it would, all kind of be super cohesive but it wouldn't be completely me so i'm gonna write femme energy i've decided it's really scary doing this because i feel like there's so much pressure Might just write down here, power. Sugar! 
the lid just came off the spray can. So I'm just gonna like underline it. So like when I do something wrong, I always turn it into something else. I'm not mad, I promise. Yes. So on the back, I'm just writing we should all be feminists. Just something that came to mind on the subject of female empowerment. I'm going to outline the pockets like the collar, but it's going to just be a bit messy. So obviously I've got the women here. I'm just going to do the back and just do like a woman's face, just so it's a bit consistent. So I'm going to be painting on three phone cases today. So this is the recent style that I've been doing. So all I do is the eyes, the cheeks, the lips, and then I do a nice little empowering quote. So I've got lilac, grey, and yellow. Like, this sheet is a hot mess, I know, but I'm keeping it real. Just mix all the paints together, create the colours that I want, and then just get started. Different paint works differently for different people. I've always worked really well with acrylic paint. I love painting with acrylic paint, whether it's on paper, phone cases, or clothing. I was painting these last night because they are on demand. Basically, the quotes that I write, for me, it's just about loving yourself, it's about working hard, but never ever doing too much, knowing that you don't have any limits, the only limit is you, just never giving up on, on your craft and just doing what you love, and just being a woman and embracing it. They're the kind of things that I live by. People could say that my case is very braggy and, oh, I love myself, but messages like this are made for people that don't naturally love themselves that have gone through things and my phone case is just kind of are there to uplift you i hope you guys enjoyed watching this art video let me know if you want to see more of these thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye